Philip van Kessel. Um, I'm 30 now. I built up an electronic wakeboard and started it in the basement by my parents. I'm sorry. At first, it started all with an idea with one of my good friends. Uh, we were in the evening school and we have a lesson with no teacher. And we were at the internet and saw some surfboards and uh, we thought, hey, we can do that better. And we want to make it cleaner. We don't want an engine, we want clean energy, we want a clean product. And it, for us, it's really important, the nature. So I don't want that some oil is leaking out in the nature. My plan is that I will reach 70 kilometers an hour. And I also want to drive close to 50 or 70 miles distance, uh, kilometers, I'm sorry. I really like to go really fast. I got a fast car. I got a fast e-bike. <laughs> I got, I like it fast. I like to travel from one point to another fast, it makes fun and it's really efficient. And so my e-bike also is tuned, <laughs> my car is a bit tuned, <laughs> my makeboard also gets tuned and with every idea it gets better and better. I think over it a lot and I want to go really fast but also really smooth. Yeah, the first prototypes was uh, was to print the whole board. Then I do prototyping, and it come back here. I think about it. How can I do it better? Better manufacturing work, better handling by driving it, and then I rebuild it, and make it better, make it better. So every part you can see right now here um, started really small and no piece here is the first try. Everything you see here, done it really often because I don't learn it in school, building up engines. I do it on a trial and error method. And here I am. Yeah, I started the prototype by printing the whole body out, at first out of uh, PLA. That wasn't a good idea, 90 degrees, uh, melted it down. So I changed the material. After that, I printed it out of PH6 and that worked good. Uh, it was watertight because after printing it, I wrapped it with carbon fiber, it get more stiff. So my next steps are building everything, the negative forms, the molds and put carbon fiber inside of it. When I built the board, I started with uh, the PH6 from Polymaker. It's really stiff when it comes out of a printer, but the problem is the moisture. Uh, when it gets wet, uh, the material, um, it flexes more and wakeboard works in water. And so it is a bit of a problem. So I had to look for a stiffer material and uh, Fiberon takes place. Um, I built the fins now bigger and a lot of stiffer. Uh, when you hear that, it's not stiff and listen to that, it's really stiff, it's really hard and when it gets wet, it don't get much more flexible. Um, so this part, that's my turbine housing and I also printed out of uh, PH6 with carbon fiber and uh, it has to take a lot of thrust because out of one engine uh, I get 10 horsepower and the water will flow out by a speed of 130 kilometers an hour and it produce a thrust of close to 300 Newton. So it's a lot of force. I also printed the impellers out of the PPS um, because they're also really stiff. Moisture don't do anything on it and uh, yeah, I also like the quality of the material. So I also use the breakaway from Polymaker. So it's really easy to break away. I don't have to use tools. I just can do it by hand. 
and it's really easy to get it off. So right now I'm working on the battery pack. It's really important for the European market that uh, there are a lot of rules and also the materials has to go to some tests and um, there the ESD material takes place because I have a lot of voltage and a lot of amps in the battery pack. I've built up the battery pack on my own. That right here is only a prototype and only a half prototype. <laughs> so and that battery pack will allow me to go 50 kilometers. And it's really heavy. <laughs> yes, I could do that. Also, um, I could also start the whole thing without 3D printing. And I also did that in the first year, taking a lot of wood and um, try to shape every wood piece but it take a lot of time and every hour I have to shape something, I do it. With 3D printing, I opened up a completely new working here down there by my parents because I can design something, press play and think about the next part. Between two, I think about something, have to build it and when I finish that, then I have to think so I can work a bit faster. Um, and with the new materials from Fibron, I can push the boundaries, I can build up much lighter parts, more strength, more efficient. And that's what counts. It's really important for me to get better pieces. <laughs>